if you are a fan of soybean milk and has usually engaged in it processing for business over the years. Then you should know that it has some issues as regards to quick beverage milk spoilage and off bean milk flavor which results to both loss of capital and profit in business and milk stigmatization among other beverages. Oh no! But today and in this video, I will tickle you with a shocking secret and solution around this problem. Wow! And in turn, present to you a natural homemade creamy condensed milk flavored thick soybean milk drink at a very low cost budget. So, keep watching and learn. Hello, it's Chinedo Vincent from SalpaceFoodBlog.com. And we teach you how to make pastries, snacks, and launch packs. Subscribe for more valuable food contents ahead. Once you purchase the soybean from the market, all you do is to winnow and salt it and separate it from chaffs and stones which usually come in contact with the soybean through adulteration by the traders just for their selfish purpose. And after the cleaning process, transfer into a clean bowl, then add some water and wash the beans thoroughly. Decant and discard the floating chaffs, and then add more water in such a way that the water completely swallow the beans, and then soak for four good hours. Now, after the first two hours of soaking, Replace the water and wash the beans. This will assist the elimination of the beanie flavor which makes soybean milk objectionable among some food. So return the beans to the bowl and add some clean water and soak for the remaining two hours. And at the completion of the four hours, you will notice an increase in size with a softer texture. Completely decant the water. Turn the beans into the pot and add some water. You can level up the beans with your spatula, cover your pot and allow to cook to a boil. And now we are boiling these beans for two major reasons. One is the complete elimination of the beanie flavor that is associated with soybean. Secondly is to prevent spoilage. If you are used to soy milk processing or business, you will know that soy milk spoil with ease and at times this can be frustrating because it can lead to wastes of resources and most people has given up on soy milk processing because of this same problem so this is the solution simply boil your beans before you grind this beans was boiled for about 10 to 15 minutes so the next step is to transfer this into our blender add some water and blend to smoothness Transfer into a bigger bowl because you'll be needing some space and mix to dissolve lumps if need be. I was supposed to sieve now but because I have other things to attend to, I have to keep them in the fridge and they even slept overnight before I sieve them. Ordinarily, if you try this nonsense with soybean, you will lose it completely because it will spoil. But because I boiled it, everything is still in order. You can see the one dissolving the blocks from the fridge. Now, because it's a thick blend, I'm gonna add some water to it to aid sieving. Mix it to dissolve the lumps to a greater extent. I think this video deserves some accolade. Please give us some likes and shares. Encourage us, please. Thank you. Now is the sieving process. And to do that, pour the thick blend to your folded sieve which was supported with your hands 
unfold the clothes and begin to sit in a to and flow motion like this. Please note that patience is required to do this exercise. At the end of each sieving process, press the sieve to extract more milk, rinse in another less thick liquid, which is in another bowl. Discard the chaffs and repeat the entire sieving process in order to extract the whole thick milk. And here is the whole viscous filtrate milk we have obtained from the soy blend. Wow! Bring out a clean pot and transfer the whole milk. Cover your pot and simmer for about 30 minutes. Soy milk simmers a lot and sometimes it throws away, please be aware. It's advised that you keep a watch on it, stir regularly and intervally, and if possible, leave the pot wide open. So bring down the pots from the stove after 30 minutes. Allow to cool down a bit and sieve using your sieving clothes. To do that, pour the milk into the bag. Sieving at this point is no longer as difficult as the previous one we did. Here, the milk will fall out freely to give us a smooth mouth fill milk. So now that we are getting closer to the finished product, I do no longer need my hands to come in contact with the milk. So all I simply do is to squeeze with the aid of my spatula or any possible clean object around you to avoid microbial contamination and add your sugar. I added just a cup of sugar to this and I got 4 liters of thick milk from these 4 cups of soybean. I also added two teaspoons of condensed milk flavor which increases the mouth milking experience of this milk it also make people that tested this to argue if this was a soybean milk or a full cream milk but feel free to use any flavor of your choice you can use natural flavor or synthetic flavor. I use synthetic flavor if it is for business and natural flavor if it is for personal consumption. The first person to tell me the reason why I do so correctly will have a gift. Now cover and allow to cool to enable proper dissolution of both the sweetener and the flavor. Mind you that the flavorness and sweetness is more intense after the cooling down process so be guided so i will fill in and package my drink in an already washed and clean containers which i did off camera just to save time after packaging you can allow in the freezer to take it up although my customers were lining up for me to finish this drink you can use it the way you use milk pair it with your gari add it to your pap drink it that way or use it for any snacks especially when it is chilled remember it congeals and taking up the more when it is chilled please let me know if you try this in the comment box and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I wonder what you're waiting for. Thanks for watching. You can visit us at salupesfoodblog.com. And if you need more tips, questions, and guidelines, feel free to use the comment section or send me a DM. And I will see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.